In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can share models and protect intellectual property. We have a model of an actuation system that we wish to share with another company. However, we do not wish to expose our intellectual property. We need to find a way to generate a protected version of this model to share. We'll do this using model reference protected mode. The subsystem that we wish to protect can be protected using this command. The resulting model can be simulated, you can change parameter values, you do not need licenses for the physical modeling products, and the source code is protected. Here are the steps that we'll need to do. First, we'll need to set up the parameters that can be tuned in the, in the protected model. Next, we'll need to configure it as an atomic subsystem so that it is evaluated as a single unit. We'll then create the model reference file, and then we'll configure it so that the only one copy can be referenced in the main model. Finally, we'll protect the subsystem using this command. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. We have a three-dimensional model of an aileron modeled in sim mechanics, and our actuation system is modeled in sim hydraulics. We would like to share these components with another company, but protect our intellectual property. To go through the steps to do this, we'll use this MATLAB file. First, we need to configure the parameters that can be changed in the protected model using these commands. The next step is to take these components, put them into a subsystem, and then name this subsystem Aileron System. This will be the name of the reference model that we create. We need to make sure that this model can only must be executed as an atomic unit. We'll go to the subsystem parameters and say treat as atomic unit. The next thing that we'll do is create a model block, which means we're going to extract this subsystem into a separate model. So we will convert this subsystem to a referenced model. So now this subsystem exists as a separate model called Aileron System. You can see the name there. We're going to take this model and bring it into our overall model, placing it here. So now you can see that we have our overall model and the referenced model. This is the model that we intend to protect. Going back to our script, we're going to set the instances allowed for this model to one. That means that this model, when included in another model, can only be included one time. The next step will be to protect this model. We'll use the command simulate model reference protect to do that. Using this command, we can see that the model is being converted to a form where the uh, internal contents cannot be read. It'll be a .slxp file. We can see that the protected model has been created. If I double click on this, it cannot be opened. So what we can do is take that version of the model, bring it into our overall model, and place it here. So now we have this in our overall system model. This model is protected. If we run the simulation, we can see how, how it performs with the values we had at the moment that the model was created. We can also see that we are still allowed to change parameter values. So I have now changed the KP value to 0 0.5. I'm going to rerun the simulation, and we'll see that the parameter value that we have changed affects the performance. So we can see that we have managed to create a subsystem, protect this model, the model can still be simulated, and parameter values can be changed. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can share models and protect intellectual property.